What is going on? It's your boy G's playing again. If you played any sort of MMORPG games, then you know mounts are a great part of any games. Ragnarok Origin is no different, with players able to get mounts specific to their class or the ability to get them by purchasing them. In this video, I'll go over all the necessary details to properly use your mount and to figure out how to optimize them. And as always, if you enjoy these types of videos, then I would really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I bring up to date guides and news on all things Ragnarok, but without any further Without further ado, let's get started. As soon as you hit level 65, you are given a quest to unlock mounts, and once you finish that quest, then you are given your very first mount for free. Every class has a different animal mount and are unique to their classes. In this video, I will be showcasing you the best mount of all time, the Alpaca mount that is given to Acolyte classes. Let's start by talking about how these mounts work. Every mount will give a certain percentage of the stats to your character, so to efficiently grow your character and gain additional stats, leveling up your mount and training them is necessary. Certain mounts will also have attributes labeled on them. These attributes enhances your character by a small amount depending on what they give. For example, the Shark Bully will give your character a bonus stats of max HP plus 50, physical damage plus 1.5%, and magical damage plus 1.5%. So if you are looking to change your mount because it's not the all powerful alpaca, then make sure you look at the bonus attribute carefully and pick which one you will prefer. But speaking of different mounts, you can find a list of all the current available mounts that is in the game by clicking on the styles tab. And if there is one that you like, press it and it will show you the exact materials needed to obtain them. A good amount of these mounts can be crafted without paying real money, which is really nice. Like for example, the pouring string, the item memory fragment, and the genetic book can be bought in the market using Zenny. And as for the sealed magic wand, you can find it in the Aaron House Zenny section and be bought by Zenny. But once you obtain the mount that you like, you can set it as the one you want to use and be on your merry way. Now let's go over how to properly use them. Your mount has five different statuses, and each of these stats are categorized by different name. Courage representing attack and magic attack, intellect being physical damage reduction, loyalty being magical damage reduction, Charisma as physical and magical damage and charm as your max HP. Each of these attributes can be increased up to 300 points, and then 600 once you evolve your mount at level 20. You can also increase the maximum number of points you can add by feeding them specific fruits related to their attribute. For example, if you want to increase your courage points, then you will feed them the frozen dried blueberries, and it will increase by 10 points. You can do this a maximum of 20 times, so in total the most you can put points into a specific attribute is 800. The way you would add points into these attributes is by using kiwis. They are are two different types of kiwis available, wild kiwis and sunshine kiwis. Wild kiwis are your basic kiwis and will either add up to 5 points or subtract up to 5 points to any random attribute. Sunshine kiwis on the other hand will either add up to 10 points or subtract up to 3 points to any random attributes. So when you are using kiwis, aim for the attribute that you will need the most for your character. Maxing out one attribute is guaranteed, but if you want to max out at least two of these attributes, you will need a very large amount of kiwis, and you will need to use a sunshine kiwis or else you'll be going back and forth for a very long time. Now the next part of this guy is very straightforward, is leveling up your mount. You can level your mounts by feeding them cookies. You can purchase these cookies through the cafe shop or by completing battle Yggdrasil or finding them through the rescue Devaruchi. Every time you level them up, their base stats also increase, meaning you will also get stronger. You can feed your mount up to 60 times per week and they reset every Monday at 5am server time. Now the last part of this guy I don't really want to go over, but I'll mention it is the style points for mounts. Basically, this works the same as your wardrobe function. The more mounts you unlock, the more style points you can get, and thus increasing your stats by a little. You can increase your style level up to level 12 and gaining different stat bonuses along the way. So if you want a little bit more stat changes to your character, then unlocking as many mounts as you can is somewhat beneficial. But that is the basic gist of how the mounts work in Ragnarok Origin. I hope I was able to give you the information needed to understand it and fully optimize it for your benefits. If you think I forgot something or I missed the crucial information, then please leave a comment down below. Helping out the community to learn more about this game will make it grow. And if you also just want to comment and say hi, then please, I love connecting with my community and talking to you guys. And the comments also help with the YouTube algorithm. But if you want a better way of connecting to me, then follow my Twitter. It's easier for me to be active on there than it is on Facebook. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that like button. But I truly appreciate all of the love and support you guys have shown me, and I can't wait to start streaming and uploading more videos for you guys. Anyways, thank you once again, please stay safe everyone, and I will see you in the next video.